downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Second and seven. Williams, a man in motion right. Goff now looks to throw. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down up to the 47-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And this young man does nothing but continue to ascend to the top of the wide receiver charts. Very similar to his team. Last year alone, he finished in the top five in catches, yards, and touchdowns. Tied for second in the league with 119 total grabs. Not bad for a former fourth-round pick. And he and his Lions continue to take aim at the rest of the league. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Off play action, here's Goff. Got his man, it's Williams. And he is gonna lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And we constantly talk about people being on the same page. In this situation, the two of them saw the play with the same eyes. They understood where the open spaces were going to be. And they found a way to get there to pick up a new set of downs. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 16. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll find a man over the middle, 2-2 two -two Atwell. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. Throwing is Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Stafford now to throw. Short throw, it's Higby. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. 
Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? For us, a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Touchdown, Rams! 2-2 two -two Atwell, 49 yards. And the Rams put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they call his number in this one. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Go off. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Well, not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Detroit! Jamison Williams, 59 yards. And the Lions are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well. Because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Ready. 
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. To throw is Stafford. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them. And they get their first sack of the contest. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion results there in nine yards. Third and seven now. Well, that's always a good place to throw it, just because he's one of the biggest targets, not only on his team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. First time that they've called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. From the 50, Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got half of a tight end candidate. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And I think he just wanted to give the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Stafford looks to throw again. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. No surprise to any of us who watch this young guy. A forceful move there by the Michigan man. Aiden Hutchinson, one of the most talented young defenders that we have in our game. Here's Ethan Evans now. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will do the job nicely as that'll be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Out of the gun, golf. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there, ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Now a second and ten. Play action, it's golf. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Golf. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 
Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. What a first quarter he's been putting together. He scored the touchdown earlier, and he's in phase right out of the gate. Right now, he's playing with such confidence, he doesn't believe that they have an answer for him no matter what they do on defense. And here's another big play to prove his point. Now that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. Seven seven, our score after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the home standing Lions who have the football. Second down and four, as they've got it as we resume action. Off throwing again. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Gibbs straight ahead. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Here's Goff. This pass down the field for Gibbs. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was a long pass attempt downfield, and the ball was popped up in the air. And how come things go from really fast to almost slow motion when the ball's up in the air and the defender's unable to haul it in before it hits the ground? The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. Goff now looking to throw. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he is going to have a Lions first down as he'll be marked out a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Throwing again is gone. This to Laporta, right side. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Second down and three. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Complete to right. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit, and he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage in a first down. In motion, the tight end. They'll run with Gibbs, and they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. 
So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Well, you've told me before, it's great to be an athlete. A lot of great athletes out there. It's good to have instincts, and he has those. I would take those above athleticism in a lot of cases because if you know where the ball's going before anyone else can get there and block you, you can make up for a lack of athleticism by being in the right spot at the right time. And took him down in the backfield with those instincts. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Now Goff on third and goal. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who are in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. That 7-0 lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. In motion comes the tight end left. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Now hang on here. We got an injury. And, yeah, it's Cooper Cup who's going to receive some attention following that last play. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Back to throw. Stafford. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now Stafford. This one hauled in, and again it's Robinson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. It's a nice completion and a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Throwing at Stanford. They'll get this one complete to Atwell. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Play action. Stafford. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, L.A. 
2-2 Atwell with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams are an extra point away from evening this one up. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Extra point splits the uprights. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. So a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that will disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. Well, it's been an exciting sequence to watch. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Here's gone. That is caught. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. On first and ten, here's Gibbs. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now gone. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The offense on third down tonight, they've been excellent. Six for seven. This is third and eight. To throw is gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and ten. Stafford and the Rams come up first and ten at their own 12-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 36 yards on the play. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield.
Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Here's Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Just need a yard here, second and one. Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And Higby going to have a Rams first down as he'll get the ball down inside the 30. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Again, it's Stafford. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. And he's got his man on the out route. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Now Stafford. Yeah, he's got it. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Out of the gun, Stafford. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, congratulations, Mr. Lucky. You know that's one that he would love to have back. That should have been picked off. Threw that one into a crowd. He's just so fortunate the defender couldn't react fast enough and get his hands up. On second and goal, standing alone in the backfield is Williams. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams punching it in from a yard away. And the Rams will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. 
Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Now it's gone. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Goff now looks to throw. St. Brown making the catch on the out route. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Back to throw, Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's Goff. That's into the hands of Khalif Raymond. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Again, golf. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. That's complete to the Porter. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And his kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Well, the Rams about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. The final shot before the break. Stafford going to let one fly for Robinson. And this is caught at the 20. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down at the 20. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. 
And I think they'll try and help him out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 43, here's second down and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And running with power here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in the running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. Well, Stafford. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. And that's where you're counting on a receiver size being an advantage. They were hoping he could go up the top of a smaller DB and haul that one in. A good thought, but that time it didn't work out. Second and ten. Now it's Stafford. That's quickly to Atwell on the slant. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. They go back to the ground with Williams. Yeah, Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play, and that's going to lead them to fourth down. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half and get going. Make no mistake about it though, kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Now gone. Over the middle and take it in by Laporta. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Now a play fake, and it's gone. Throw caught by Raymond. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 
The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Play action. It's gone. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He's trying to get it to Almond Ross St. Brown. That'll bring up second down. St. Brown in motion right. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. Throw left side, caught by Laporta. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They went to their big body tight end on second down in hopes that he could plow his way to a first down. But they were ready for him defensively and ended up holding him to a modest gain. Throwing again is gone. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. One of the fastest risers in the draft process last year. Every time you watch him on tape, you liked him more and more. Explosive interior quickness, has a physical presence, and loves to play the game. And his kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Throwing a Stanford. Goes to his man on the out route. It's complete. That's Robinson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Now a play fake it at Stafford. That's caught. It's 2-2 that -right well. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 31. Stafford now to throw. This is caught by Robinson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. 
And with that pass CD, he's now over 400 yards in the game. And even in a pass-first league, that is still a tough benchmark to hit. And all week leading up to this one, all we read, heard about was the confidence he had that he could put up big numbers. Kudos to him for coming out here with that belief in himself and for making it happen. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 11 more on that one and another first down. Now Stafford. The quick slant caught. Touchdown. Puka Nakua from eight yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter. Decent length drive. And you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game. Even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because... You have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And Detroit getting set to go now. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get... They got his man complete! A big play there for Detroit. 43 yards. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ballgame. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Off play action. Here's Goff. Open man right side of St. Brown. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Goff now to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Goff throwing again. Right side to Williams. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Montgomery. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, 
and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Once more Montgomery. Yeah, this time he'll get down close to the goal line, but not quite in as he stopped at the one yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Yeah, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Now Goff on third and goal. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Khalif Raymond there to make the grab. And the Lions have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Here's Stafford. Open man, Higby, the tight end. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll send a receiver in motion left. And they'll fake the jet sweep, and instead of give up the middle to Williams. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there, because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Stafford. He'll find a man over the middle. 2-2 two -two Atwell. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. 
And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Stafford gets this into the hands of the tight end Higby. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. And the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Back to throw. Stafford. And that one too wide and incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down. And he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So here come the Lions now. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed. Not a good look. Goff now looks to throw. Throw over the middle. He finds Williams. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. They gave him the option there on third and short. Runner pass, you choose. And he decided to fling it out to the perimeter. And that was the right call as they pick up the first down. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Here's Goff. He's got right on the short throw. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Now it's Goff. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. 
A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. They'll come up first and ten here. This to Laporta, right side. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Here comes second down. Goff now to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Williams. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. But just a gigantic play here, both sides. This is third and inches. Golf. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. Extra point right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So now Stafford and the Rams down 35-31, 46 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Stafford now to throw. Throw left side, complete to Cup. Well, I'm no coach, but there's just not time right now for throws that short. Yeah, sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. As Coach Madden liked to say, sometimes you have to take what you want. Here comes second down at five. Stafford. Taken down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Now Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get out of bounds. That stops the clock, and they pick up a good chunk of yardage as well. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are in the field? Here's first down. Now it's Stafford. Open man is Atwell, complete. Now they do indeed get the timeout, so all is not lost. They'll have a chance for one final heave to the end zone. Here's first and ten. He's back to throw. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Now 
They'll come up now on second down. One last throw here for Stafford. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Well, what a thrilling fourth quarter this one was. Well, at least, I guess, if you're cheering for the winning side. An, outst an outstanding comeback, though, that saw them completely take control and change the outcome of this game. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of us saw that coming, the way that they were playing and having the lead after three quarters. A little bit of a stunning ending because it wasn't just a one-touchdown swing. It was a multiple-touchdown swing for them to end up losing that ball game. Give credit where credit is due. They came off the pace and got it done. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL.